Oh, God. It breaks my heart to see you like this. Orange is not your color. Mr. Stumper, please. This is not a time for jokes. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy. I just thought a bit of levity might lessen the gravity of Teresa's plight. I'm a friend of Luis, so take all the time you want. Thank you. Thanks. I've got one question, Woody. When do I see my son again? Given your plight after your actions last night, maybe never. All right. I go over there and play for a little bit. You know what? <clears throat> We'd have to try to keep little Ethan's life as normal as possible while he's away from Teresa. Which, judging by the way things are going, could be a while now that she got caught trying to sneak him out of the mansion. Yeah, I mean, I wish Rebecca and Julian could see that they're wrong to sue for custody and let Teresa have her son back. No, Rebecca's only doing this to try to get back at Teresa for her part in little Sarah's death. Everything is perfect, my Pookie. I am Mrs. Julian Crane. Ethan and Gwen are doing well. And Teresa is in jail for attempted kidnapping. Rebecca, about Teresa. Mm. Oh, in honor of the Latina loser. Oh, why don't we play Jailhouse Rock? You can be the guard, and I can be the innocent, but ever so anxious to please prisoner. I think I'll take a walk first, alone. Okay. Julian. You've got to stop this. Lose this sappy love you have for Eve Russell. She is married to TC. And you are married to me. And I want a husband in every way. Well, that is if you want Eve's secrets to stay secret. It's Rebecca and Julian's first day of marriage, and it looks like they're already at odds with one another. Yeah, it's par for the course. You know, happily ever after isn't really a couple's motto around here, you know what I mean? That's so sad, because to me, marriage is such an incredible thing. I grew up seeing how wonderful my parents' marriage was. And still is. I mean, yeah, yeah, they have problems. But they work it out, and they stick it out the way a real married couple should. Hmm. Yeah, then there are the cranes, right? The almighty cranes. If you throw Teresa into the mix just for the heck of it, Rebecca's my third mom. <laughs> I, uh, I can't even imagine my mom being with another man. Especially when that man is my father. <sighs> Julian, this is all my fault. You're in a loveless marriage just so you could protect me. What is this gonna go on? About you, Sheridan, feeding our baby, I mean? Well, as long as it has to. You want our baby to be healthy, don't you? Of course. I just, I miss him when he goes with her. Well, I know, but maybe the more time Sheridan spends with them, the sooner she'll realize that he isn't hers, okay? You know, that baby really sounds hungry. You better get him over to Sheridan's lickety split. Right. Yes, come on. 
All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Precious, I know you got a hangover. I'll be there with your other ice pack in a minute. Boy, she is so pushy. I just hate it when he takes the baby to, to Sheridan. Well, 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 Missy, I guess you better get used to it, huh? <laughs> because eventually everyone is going to realize that your baby is really Sheridan's. And they're going to know that you kidnapped him. Then you're never going to see that baby <laughs> or the light of day again. <laughs> I hate that I did what I did, Sheridan, but it's the only way. It's the only way. The door is open, Dr. Ackland. You wanted to see me, Mr. Crane? Indeed I do, Dr. Eklund. Sheridan's husband, Antonio Lopez Fitzgerald, signed her commitment papers last night. For her own good, he thinks. Little does he know that once you get my daughter back to the psych ward, I can do what I please with her. What does that mean, exactly? It means I'll make certain that neither Sheridan nor her lover, Luis, are a threat to the Crane Empire ever again. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high I'm little Ethan's mother. I have a God-given right to be with my son. I just post a bail and get me out of jail. I can't. Why not? Riley refused to set bail. Well, he can't do that. Don't kid yourself. Riley would do anything for money. There's no shame. And after the stunt you pulled, Last night, even a decent judge would be loath to set bail. Vanessa violating a protective order and a desperate attempt to, to spirit your son out of the Crane Mansion was tantamount to kidnapping. How can I kidnap my own son? Did I say the court gave custody to Julian and Rebecca? So under law, little Ethan is oh God, their child now. No. And to make matters worse, your, your behavior was so outrageous. Riley actually looks courageous for refusing to sit down. Now, naturally, our uh, crooked judge whispered to me that he'd be willing to set bail in this amount. Okay. But first, First, you're gonna have to pony up some major moolah for him under the table in this amount. I mean, this is, this, is, this is crazy. I mean, I cannot come up with that kind of money. Okay, since bail's not an option, all right, how are you gonna get me out of here? Let's just say orange may not be your color, but uh, you better get used to it. What is going on here? You're not even listening to me. I want a real husband and all that that implies. Yes, of course I, I Why don't you go upstairs and decide what game you want to play and I'll join you. Huh? 
But, but first, I, I want to take a little walk to get my blood flowing. I mean, I'm not as young as I used to be, and those performance enhancers you got for me, they, well, they need something to enhance. <laughs> now, that's more like it. Why don't you go get your blood flowing, and uh, I'll get ready to uh, channel it. Yes, yes. Julian, I'm. I saw you at odds with Rebecca, and I. Sheridan. Sheridan, wake up. Hey. Oh, Louise. Oh, I had a dream that we couldn't find our baby. Oh, but here he is. He's here. Oh, and he's hungry. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Sheridan. Sheridan, he's hungry. Not. Yes, he's starving. Louise. It's just wonderful. Our baby's alive. Now that we have him back, we will never lose him again. I can't be... I know, I know you can't betray him. It's just... Seeing you makes me realize how much I love and adore you. God, I love you, too. I, I love you for protecting my secret by marrying Rebecca. And to see you so unhappy with her, it makes me... No. Just don't blame yourself. I... I'm happy to make it so you can keep your family intact. Oh, Julian, it's such a huge sacrifice. A travesty. If only I'd married you back then. I, I know we'd still be husband and wife. We'd be living a happy life with our son and all the brothers and sisters we no doubt would have given him. So, are there any new leads on our son? Uh, no. No, not yet. But I, I, I promised you that I would find him before this year is over, and I, I swear I will, on my love for you. Oh, I was, was just going to go and check on Sheridan. Eve, can I? see you when you're finished with my sister. I mean, just to talk. We have to be so careful, Julian. If anyone were to see us, you're marrying Rebecca to protect our secret. We'll have all just been for nothing. Sheridan, you know, Beth's baby is getting stronger all because of you. My little boy is doing so much better. You have made Mommy so happy to have found you again. <laughs> Hi. I hope you don't mind that I let myself in. Oh, of course. Well, I just came by to see how you and the baby were doing. My baby and I are doing just fine. <laughs> now, Sheridan, you know that little Martin is Beth's baby, don't you? Well, both you and the baby seem to be doing wonderfully well. My baby and I couldn't be doing better. So I won't take a any more of your time, then? 
Luis, can I speak to you outside for a minute? Yeah, of course. So as you can see, Sheridan still thinks the best baby is hers. I know, Luis, but don't be too concerned, okay? Sheridan's a strong woman, and she has your love and support. I think that eventually the truth will get through to her. If you say so. Oh, my look, try not to worry, okay? And, and just call me if Sheridan's or the baby's situation changes in any way. Oh, well. Okay. Thank you. off any longer. I hope that one day you know that I did this because I love you. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. What's, what's going on here? Why isn't uh, you-know-who in the nursery? Well, we just brought him down to have some juice. Is there a problem? Mm -hmm. Well, no, as long as he doesn't touch anything or break anything. Huh. And yet she's never won a humanitarian award. Go figure. That's amazing. Hey, honey. Look, go, go play. Go, go. this is my house now. And I don't want it destroyed by <clears throat> Julian's B-A-S-T-A-R-D son. Capiche? <sighs> Rebecca, they should milk you for venom. Venom? Venom comes from snakes. You just gave me an idea. <laughs> you know, I hate to compare, but my mom was always so warm and loving with Simone and me, and she cared more about our happiness, heaven forbid, than whether or not we broke something. But Rebecca has completely, I mean... Yeah, you know what? She, my dad really picked a doozy, didn't he? Yeah, it's no big surprise, though. Crane marriages are never normal or stable. Yeah. Well, I feel lucky that my parents had such a stable marriage. It gave me hope about having a wonderful marriage myself one day. I mean, even after everything that happened with Chad, you know? Yeah. Hey, um, I don't know if this is, uh, speaking of Chad, I know he called last night. Yeah, and I refused to speak to him. Hmm. I mean, what's the point, really? I can never trust him again. Without trust, we can never be married, so. Right. No, that, um, makes sense to me. Marriage is forever. And I know that when I get married, I am going to have a strong relationship the way my parents do. My husband and I are going to adore each other mm -hmm. and stay faithful the way you should in a real marriage. Here, how's my sister? Uh, physically, she's fine. And emotionally? She still thinks that Beth's baby is hers. I see. Uh, Louise bought the baby over for Sheridan to nurse. And so far, that's just deep in Sheridan's belief that the baby is hers. Eve, I know how much you identify with my sister having a baby taken away, leaving a void that can never be filled. Well, the pain just never ends. Yeah. But at least in our case, we now believe that our son is alive, and we will find him one day, I swear. Not all children should be with their mothers. I think no... Mother should be separated from her child. Talking about Teresa. Julian, I just hate it that she's kept from her son just because Rebecca wants revenge for whatever she thinks that Teresa did in Sarah's death. It can't something be done. Well, were you and I to be forthcoming, Teresa could have her son back today, but short of that, Rebecca has made my complicity in her getting revenge on, on Teresa, a condition for keeping mum about our past. <sighs> I feel so guilty, both about your situation and now about Teresa's. Oh, can't we at least get her out of jail so that she can have visitation and just not be ripped apart from her child like I was? 
given me an idea. I think I'll call Teresa's attorney and make him an offer. Lopez Fitzgerald. Luis, amigo, it's me. What are you doing calling from the station house? I'm here with your sister. She's in jail, Luis. In jail? Why? She was arrested for attempting to take little Ethan out of the Crane Mansion last night. Julian and Rebecca are behind this, aren't they? Just come down to headquarters, please. Your sister needs you. OK. I'll be right there. I heard. Well, Teresa, you should go and see if you can help her. You sure you're going to be OK? My son and I will be just fine. All right. I'll call you as soon as I find out anything, OK? OK. Oh, Antonio, what, what are you doing here? I just want to let you know I'm not fighting Luis for Sheridan anymore. Let her go. You are my passion for life. So where was your head last night? Huh? What are you thinking trying to sneak the Ethan out of the mansion? Louise, what would you do if someone was trying to take your son away from you? I'd kill. Look, the point is, you know how mean Julian and Rebecca can be. Now, having you arrested proves it. I know. <laughs> What's worse is that Judge Riley won't set bail unless I pay a huge bribe. Is there anything you can do to help your sister? Not if the sleazy judge refuses to set bail without a bribe there, is he? Actually, there is. I have an offer from Julian Crane, an offer. An offer that can could mean your freedom. All right, what is it? OK, Teresa. If you will agree not to seek custody of little Ethan, the Cranes will agree to your release from jail. You can be free, Teresa. You can go free. Antonio, you can't give up on Sheridan. Well, you know what, Beth? I can't make her choose me either. It's that simple. But you... You said that there was a way to keep Luis and Sheridan from being together. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't do that. It, it'd just be too awful. Well, exactly how awful would it be? Alistair Crane offered to help me win Sheridan back. <gasps> What did Mr. Crane suggest? He wants me to have Sheridan committed to the psych ward, because as her husband, I would be able to see her that much more. And that Luis, he would be denied visitation rights. He thinks that if I get her alone, that somehow she'll fall in love with me just like she did when she was on St. Lisa's. Alistair's right. You'd be insane not to have her committed. Come on, Antonio, you gotta do it for love. You've gotta do it for Sheridan's love. You have Sheridan's husband's signed consent. Now get my daughter and lock her away. Yes, Mr. Crane. Happy New Year, Dr. Ackland. <laughs> Indeed it is. The Sheridan who comes out of the psychiatric ward won't be the same Sheridan who goes in. My daughter will never be a threat to me or to the Crane Empire ever again. I better go. Rebecca might see us. I know, she's already lectured me about my lack of enthusiasm for a unholy state of matrimony. Still, I'm glad I got to see you today. Because when I'm with you, I... I feel so good inside. I feel complete. If only... No. no. 
now. We can't punish ourselves with if only. Things just, they just are the way they are. You're right. And after you leave here today, I'm not going to wistfully contemplate if only. Because I'm going to do something right now. It has no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's not Halloween again. I know Rebecca's costume's scary, isn't it? Halloween's over. Yeah. Well, little Ethan, um, why don't you go in the nursery and Fox and I will be in there in just one second. <clears throat> okay. Right, I'm, I'm going to take a stab at this one first. Okay, take it first. Okay. Uh, let me let me take a guess here, and I'm I'm, I'm going to say Britney Spears. <clears throat> Your comment about snake venom inspired me. Huh. So whose father going to be tonight? Is it going to be Justin, or is he going to go for Madonna? <sighs> Look, just keep the kid in the nursery, will you? Children should be unseen and unheard. Ugh. Russell to arouse him so he can make love to me. <laughs> well, we'll give him a break this time, huh? But if he doesn't get Eve Russell out of his life and soon, I'm gonna destroy him and Dr. Feelgood. So go with your new nanny and take your bath and brush the teeth that you got left in there. Yeah, remember, don't swallow the toothpaste this time, okay? All righty. Go. <laughs> I am so sorry little Ethan had to see Rebecca like that. Yeah, I feel sorry for all of us. <laughs> she looked bizarre, right? To say the very least. Well, I think bizarre pretty much sums up my father's relationship with that one. Yeah, well, it's not love. At least not in the normal sense of the word. See, my mom and dad taught Simone and me about love and respect and commitment by living it. So you know what? When I finally do get married, I will never disrespect my husband by doing something like stepping out on him. My mom taught us that by example. Well, your mom's amazing. Yes. There's no doubt about it. And as for you, I am sure that you will remain true to your man. I'll stake my future on it. Well, listen, um, I'm going to go check my messages, so I'll be right back, OK? okay. Julian said if I stop fighting for custody of my child, he'll drop the kidnapping charges. Allowing you to go free. Now, Teresa, once you're disincarcerated. Is that even a word? I don't know. Once you're out of here, you can petition the court for, for custody, and I'm sure you'll prevail. Look, Rebecca doesn't want to be responsible for little Ethan over the long haul. She, who knows, might even turn her head. Let little Ethan live with you. Well, of course, you don't retain custodial rights, I'm sure. But, Teresa, if you refuse Julian's offer, you, you're going to stay here. And you'll never get to see your son again. There has got to be another way. None that I can see. Please, accept Julian's offer. Or... It used to orange. Look, Woody, I'm little Ethan's mother, okay? I should have custody of my own child. Now I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna fight for it. I don't care if I have to stay in jail for the rest of my life. Teresa, I'll ask Sheridan for money, okay? We'll, we'll get more lawyers. We'll fight this together, all right, as a family, okay? All right. Your determination engenders my admiration. But I still think Teresa should accept Julian Crane's offer. Now, I'm sorry, I hate to do this, but if you don't mind, I'd like a moment with my, with my client. Thank you. Thank 
you. Thank you. Thank you. We are not leaving in custody of little Ethan without a fight, you hear me? I agree, Mio. God, it's killing me that my grandson is all but a prisoner at the Crane Mansion. A pawn for Rebecca's revenge. You know, I should have buried that woman in the cemetery when I had the chance. Look, just have faith, all right? Just have faith we're going to get little Ethan back. Oh, you're right, Mio. You're right, we have to have faith. I just feel so guilty that Teresa's going through all this right now. And especially since Sheridan and I are going to be back together, we're finally going to be happy. What about her mental state? Dr. Russell says that eventually she'll realize that this baby isn't hers, and she'll move on. Now that Antonio knows the truth about us, we can be honest about our love for each other. Look, don't get me wrong, OK? I, I feel bad about hurting Antonio, but I know that he loves her enough that he'll want to set her free. And Beth knows how much I love Sharon, too. You know what, Beth, it sounds like you don't care anything about Sheridan as long as you get Luis. Finally, Mr. Muscles got a clue. No, you're, you're wrong. Antonio, yes, I love Luis. But I care about Sheridan and her well-being. That's why I think having her committed is, it's for her own good. I mean, she's delusional. She thinks that my baby is her baby. She needs to be in a place that people can take care of her. And I think having her committed is the right thing to do, it really is. Precious little baby. We have such a wonderful life ahead of us. Such a wonderful life. This is where Mr. Crane says Sheridan lives. That her? Yes, it's her. As long as I have these commitment papers signed by her husband, we can. Cart Sheridan off to the psych ward. Are you sure about this, Dr. Eklund? I mean, she doesn't look crazy to me. Keep your questions to yourself. Let's do what we came in. My mom and Mr. Crane kissing? No, no, it can't be. Okay, no, that couldn't have been my mom and Mr. Crane kissing because my mom and dad are happily married. There's no way that anything... Oh, my God. Mom. You gotta accept Julian's offer. With Judge Riley in his pocket, it's the only way you're ever gonna get out of here. Then you'll be able to see your son again. No. I'm not gonna stop fighting for custody of my child so I can get out of jail. I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna fight for my freedom, and I'm gonna fight to get my son back, or I will die trying. Spend the rest of your life in stir, Tanessa. You really could die. I'm glad you're happy, Mio. I just pray that Antonio... Uh, I pray that he accepts the fact that he's lost Sheridan to you. Yeah, me too. I don't blame Antonio for having been with Sheridan, but... It never should have happened in the first place. If that boat hadn't exploded, if Sheridan hadn't been lost at sea. Oh. I used to think that there was someone or something that was trying to keep me and Sheridan apart. But now, that thing, whatever it was, 
I feel like it's gone. I, I really feel like Sheridan and I have a chance of finally being happy together. Sheridan might try to steal my baby, you know, thinking it's hers, or, or worse yet, hurt herself when the truth gets to be too much to bear. You know, I know you'd feel terrible if something happened knowing that you could have stopped it. Um, agreeing to have Sheridan committed is really, it's the best for everyone, especially Sheridan. Well, thanks for making me feel better about this, Beth. I just want Sheridan to have a clear head with no pressure from anyone, especially the least. Yeah. I know he means well, but you're her husband. And you have to do what you think is right, which you are. Having her committed is the right thing to do. I better go. Okay. Tell your mom to say bye, okay? All right. See you. See you. Well, that was quite a performance. <gasps> For you are the wicked witch of the entire eastern seaboard. A girl just has to do what a girl has to do to get the man she loves. Oh. <sighs> so, we share it in the loony bin. Luis and I and our baby will finally be a family. <laughs> What are you doing here? Sheridan. I've come to take you back to the hospital. Back to the psych ward where you belong. Listen, tell me what's wrong. What'd you see out there anyway? What I saw makes absolutely no sense. It's the worst thing that I could ever imagine. Don't do this to me! Please leave me alone! Antonio really did it. He had Sheridan committed. Luis is gonna be mine forever. Sheridan! Sure 